Good morning, Carl here with uh, Nokta Golden Sense Metal Detector Stock Coil. I've got it hip mounted and we're going to try this thing on a beach here in Panama City area, Panhandle of Florida. Uh, we like to refer to this beach as Silver Beach uh, simply because after a good storm, we find a lot of silver here, a lot of gold, and even some shipwreck stuff here. So uh, we're off to get it. We're going to swing the detector and we'll get a signal. We're going to bring in the camera again and uh, get, get some recovery to show you what kind of depth this monster's got. Okay. Okay, here we are. Got a nice repeatable signal. You probably can't hear it. We've got a lot of wind today, but if you look, uh, we've got the red light flashing on the indicator showing that we've got a non ferrous metal. It's loud and clear either direction I, I hit it, so we're going to dig down and see what we got. It's still in the hole. I'm just going to shave off a little bit at a time just to kind of get an idea of how deep it was. Okay, target is still in the hole. You can see I'm pinpointing it by crisscrossing. Let's see what we got. Okay, target is out of the hole at whatever that is. I guess what would you say, Kenton? About ten inches, about maybe. Ten. Ten inches in, in uh, mineralized salt sand. Let's see what we've got. And turns out to be. nickel and if you look at it it's a buffalo nickel see that okay a buffalo nickel on the beach that has been beat to pieces at about 10 inches all right we'll continue the search okay okay got another signal I'm already down 10 inches in the sand still getting a repeat on it hear it chattering when I take the shovel past the coil there too. Breaking up. All right, we got it in the pile. Let's see what we got. I thought, thought I seen something come out. That's the reason I told you to check it. All right. Try my trusty pinpointer. It's a ring, but wouldn't you know, it's no gold, and it's not silver. It's a junk ring, but what would you say that thing was? I, I, I wish I brought a tape, inches. a tape measure. How much? It's about 14 inches. Okay, 14 inches. Hard pack sand on a beach. Again, it's been beat to death with metal detectors. Everybody with a metal detector comes here. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I'm getting a good repeatable signal here. I've just got it this way. When I come in this way and it repeats just as strong, that's a digger. So let's see what we got. Sounded pretty strong, so it may not be very deep. All right, still in the hole. Okay. Get out of the hole. Okay. Little tiny. Looks like a copper cap off of something. That's, that's what it is, isn't it? Alright, I'll, I'll go in the goodie bag too. Alright, well, a little bit of a target at 7 8 inches. Not bad, okay. Folks, here we are. We finished up and learned today that there's too much wind on the beach to effectively record and make any sense out of it. A lot of sunlight, but we did spend about an hour on a beach that was heavily has been heavily hit, and I personally have been on it with Mine Lab Sovereign XS2 with an 18 inch watt coil, Excalibur, several models of whites, and um, oh, another one, the Deepers. Uh, we, and, and, several people not here before so the area is beat pretty good. We did manage to find uh, a silver quarter 1941 that came out that was by far the best signal of the day. And just to give you an example, uh, before I even picked it up with my pin pointer I was in the hole about this deep. So it gave a good crisp clear signal at that depth. Uh, found another clad quarter first find of the day was a buffalo neck and we find coins all the way back to uh, sometimes Spanish Spanish shipwreck coins mixed in here as well a junk ring odd piece of metal clad quarter dime and the ever-present zinc pennies that have corroded beyond recognition but uh, again an hour in an area that's been beaten to pieces with uh, the note to golden cents I I'm impressed we're gonna head on down to Appalachicola now and see what we can do down there and uh, we'll, we'll try to hopefully have a report for at the end of that with some good finds.